Hey, hey, CrossFit girls. Good morning, good morning. All right, fitness class time. Let's get our arms moving a little bit. As we get going, good solid workout today. Gonna get some good kickboxing skills in on the target. Might even get a little fire walk action in. Get your arms swinging side to side, up and down. Just get it moving a little bit. Move your feet around, arms up, arms side to side. Arms up and down and side to side. Oh, a couple ladies here already. Cool. Good morning, Terry. How's it going? Up, down, side to side. Up, down, side to side. Just take a couple of moments. Get your shoulders moving around. And now we're doing the same thing with our knees or our hips. So you're going to bring your knee up and around. And then just the one leg and just get it moving up and around. motion and then switch other legs same drill up and around big circles up and around who do we have on Pam is in the dojo and Michael's with us again cool hello Michael glad I get to help you burn off a little of your energy and make sure watches are started if they haven't been yet I didn't start mine yet. I keep forgetting. And then I start it like 10 minutes in, and then I forget and like 15 minutes after the workout, I'm like, oh, I guess I got an hour and 15 minutes in sometimes. All right, so let's get our arms moving a little bit more. So now our bodies are sideways, and just nice and light and easy. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Just get your bodies moving. Extend the arms. Who else is on? Lisa's in the house. Anyone training with us this morning, Lisa? It's Chip. What do we have? Full extension. Move your arms. And now just turn them into hooks. So now we're just coming circular. Circular. Turn your shoulder into it. Get your hip to move. Hook, 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 hook. Other hand stays up nice and strong. Aw, just you. They left y'all alone? Are they all sleeping? Shoulder comes through, shoulder comes through. And then uppercuts. Just alternate one side, then the other side. Bend the legs, push off. Straight up, just like you're lifting up your own chin. Good, and now front kicks. So you're just gonna alternate. So you're just gonna go right leg, left leg, not fast, right? Not super hard right now. We're just moving our bodies. Kick, set, kick, set, kick, set. Kick, that's it. more seconds. Remember, kick your own music up at your house. You can play whatever you would like. You don't have to worry about if my music's good or not. Plus, Sonny doesn't mute me because of the copyright. Copyright. A couple more seconds. Good, and time, and now fire walk. So we're starting off with squats for 30 seconds. Thirty seconds squats, all the way down, right back up. Bring your hips all the way down, even with your knees. Down and up, down and up, down and up. That's it. Keep it going. Click, click. My hip is really clicky this week. And now lunges, go right into lunges. Knee 
knees straight down. Other knees in behind the ankle. Don't let it go in front of the ankle. Side to side. That's it. Try to do this without stepping on my timer. Remote. Step. Step. And then skaters side to side. Heels come up. By the way, if you happen to have a medicine ball close by, get ready to grab it. And then this would be jump squats, but right now we're just gonna do regular squats for this round. And then the next round, we're gonna go into strength for our arms. So we'll grab medicine balls, do triceps, shoulders, biceps, and then go back into the fire walk again. And you get a little strength training in this morning. Of course, if you don't have a medicine ball, you have to use your youngest child. So Pamela, you have to be able to lift Michael. All right, so grab medicine balls. If you have them, this first one I'm doing without the medicine ball, and we're doing triceps. So elbows up, and then extend straight over the top of the head, right? 30 seconds, I'll give you like another 13 seconds to grab your medicine ball, small child, or a big child, whichever one it might happen to be, right? And Three, two, one, and go. Triceps, extend, extend. If you don't have a medicine ball, then, or a small child, or a big child, then just squeeze the back of the arm. So as I'm going up, this is the part of the arm that I'm thinking of squeezing. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And even if I had a medicine ball, I should still be thinking of squeezing that muscle group. It's just that I have more resistance as I'm doing it. And then shoulders. See that one? Shoulders straight up. Straight up and then down. Straight up and down. If you want to throw it, that's fine. Just make sure that you don't hit your ceiling. My ceiling is 10 feet. Yours is probably only eight. So by the time you're doing this, for a couple of you, you might almost be touching your ceiling already. All right, and then biceps from the hips to the chest. Squeeze, and again, squeezing, flexing those guns. Not that my guns are all that big, but squeeze, squeeze. That's it. And then squats, back into the fire walk. Only now we pick it up a little bit. <clears throat> so we are throwing in the jump squats at the very end this time. Full range squats. If you wanna to continue to do this with the medicine ball, that's fine. I happen to drop mine, but you feel free to torture yourself a little extra. Keep going, keep going. Nice. Is this Terry that's trying or Gary that's trying? And then lunges, one leg and then the other leg. Lunge, lunge, lunge. Knee under the hip, other foot underneath the knee. And then skaters, side to side. Heel comes up off the ground. It's like you're kicking your backside. <laughs> Keep it going. Heel up, push off that leg. Don't just run straight. Think push off the leg just a little bit. Get a little bit of that outer sweep of the leg. And then jump, squat, squat, jump, jump, jump. Get those feet off the ground a little bit. 
Doesn't have to be super high, just a little. Lump of an explosion will make you push off the ground. Almost there. And pick your medicine ball back up or whatever you're using. Triceps back into it over the head. Flex the back of the arms. Squeeze. Squeeze. And then shoulders from the chest to the ceiling. Chest to the ceiling, straight up. That's it. Keep the arms moving. Chest to the ceiling, chest to the ceiling, ceiling, chest to the ceiling. Biceps from the hips to the chest. Hips to the chest. Squeeze that bicep. Squeeze. 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 After this, one more round. And then we should be warm and we can get ready to work. And squats. Drop right into it. Squat. Squat. Last round through. Then we put our gloves on. And then we can punch stuff. Yay, Liz, we can punch stuff. I know you might not be there right now, but you may see this one later. Squat and right back up. Full range, hips down with the knees. And then lunges right into it. You can be doing reverse lunges this time, but you can go whichever way you would like. Forwards, backwards, doesn't matter. Your legs should burn all the same if you're doing it well. And then skaters side to side. Keep going. Last round of jump squats. Jump, jump, jump. Come on, keep it going. Probably only have about 10 more jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Oh, we got an extra. Awesome. Uh, what are these called? Medicine balls. And right into triceps. I don't want you to have a short round. You already started. You got the bonus. Straight over the head. Touch your back, ceiling. Back, ceiling. Back, ceiling. Back, ceiling. Yay, Chip! Great post that you had, by the way, in terms of expanding your knowledge, your skills. And then shoulder to the chest, ceiling. I didn't comment, but I read it. And it seems like people are getting it. We need a little bit more of that right now. Nice job. Straight up. Ish, ish, ish. Ish, ish, ish. And 
then the biceps. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Pull that medicine ball to the chest. Almost there, come on, finish strong. And time. Set that down to the side. Grab your bag gloves. See, Chip, you can extend, expand on that strand now. You can tell them you've also started your martial arts training over the break. And that they should all join in. It'll help them to relieve some of their stress. All right, so from here, as we hit the targets, we're gonna start right off um, nice and easy. We're gonna go through some good boxing skills today. If you don't have the target, as always, just work them in the air. And I'll do it a little bit of pull, all right? Um, so this first round, we're just gonna hit jab cross. So we're going one, two, and then I get right back out. And I always wanna think moving a little bit. So instead of I just hit and I stay stationary, I hit and then I move, I hit, and then I move. Your movement might just be that you hit and you sidestep a little bit, right? You might have some fun with it. You'd be like, one, two, and you move here, one, two, angle, one, two, slip your head, get out of the way, one, two, move, whatever level you want. But just nice and easy, one, two, and then right back, right? One minute around with left side, <coughs> sorry, with left side forward, one minute with the right, go. So it's just simple, nice and easy. One, two, jab, cross, go. And then we move a little bit. One, two, and then we move. And then move. One, two, and then move. Two, move. Two, move. Two, move. Two, move. Push, push. Move. And then move. Move this back over in the frame a little. One, two. I'm doing it for him. I'm here. And then I move a little. And then move a little. One, two. And then shake out your arms for a moment, right? Next minute will be our right side is forward. So now I punch right, left, and then I'm right back, right, left. And then come back. If I happen to have the target, then again, just simple, right, left, into the target. That's work. So one, two. Form. One, two. One, two, and then we move. One, two, and then move. One, two, and then move. And then move. Move. One, two, 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 move. And now just non-stop, 30 seconds, go. Relax, relax, great. I'm form, I'm just punching. Oh, we're done already. Oh, that was a 15 second break, never mind. I forgot, I still had on a minute. 15 seconds to go. Keep the hands moving. Faster. And time. All right, next round. Nice and simple, jab, cross, hook. So now we're reaching around, hitting the hook on the side. So in form, I'm here. One, two, reach around for the hook. One, two, reach around for the hook. Right? One, two, reach around for the hook. Again, on the target. One, two, hit the side of the target with the hook. All right? And one minute with left side forward. One minute with the right side forward. Timer in a spot that I can toe touch my timer. That's work. Throw that left hand in there. 
My left elbow is a little bit of a mess, so I really can't hit anything with it right now, especially this hook. But you guys can light right into your target or into chip or whoever else. Michael, that'll work. You can punch Michael Pam. Teenage boy stuck home with mom all alone. I'm sure he needs to get hit right now, probably. And then the other side's forward. So now we have our right side forward, and now it'll be jab, cross with left, hook with the right. Jab right, cross left, hook right. All right, and right into a kill. So right, left, hit with the right. Punches non-stop, left, right, left, right, left, right. Just straight punches, 30 seconds. Remember the bell means that we're halfway. And halfway, keep going, cram and form. Otherwise I can't see the clock. I can tell you when we're done, five more seconds. Time. Okay, so now, working on doubling up our lead hand, right? So a lot of times we just simply use drum theory in the class, meaning left, right, left, right, left for simplicity, but let's change it up a little bit. So we're gonna do left, left, right. So I'm gonna go jab, hook, and then cross. This is actually one of my favorite sparring combinations is to fire the jab into the hook. And I catch people with a lot, right? So I go jab, hook, and then I fire the cross. Jab, hook, fire the cross, right? So nice quick, one, two, three. Left side forward for the first minute, right side for the second minute. And that's work. So we're here. at now. So our right side's forward for the next round. Jab, hook with the right, cross with the left, right? Deep breath. And that's work. Jab, hook, cross. One, two, three.
Keep it going. And punches down, stop. And 15 more seconds, keep going. Five more seconds, come on. Time. Quick breather. Next combination, uppercut, cross hook. So now doubling up the backhand, uppercut, cross hook. All right, on the target, I'm here. One, two, and then I come back with a hook. Right? I just got this hand down so you can see this hand a little better. If I go the opposite way, cross, uppercut, cross, and then I come back with a hook. Backhand, backhand, lead hand. All right, again here, backhand, backhand, lead hand. All right? One minute with our left side forward, one minute with the right side forward. Oh, and by the way, at the end of that, we're gonna alternate front kicks, because we gotta get some kicks in, all right? So at the end, you're gonna alternate. Right leg, left leg, front kick non-stop on the target for 30 seconds, right? Or if I don't have a target, sorry, then I'm going right, left, right, left, right, left, all right? And three, two, one, that's work. Ready, uppercut, cross, hook, hit it. Uppercut, cross, hook, uppercut, cross, hook. My other favorite combinations, uppercut across. And then we breathe for 15 seconds, and then we do our other side. So on our right side, we'll be forward, uppercut, cross, hook. Backhand, backhand, lead hand. And then after this round is when we throw in the front kicks. Hit it, fake your liver, uh, literally. All right, one, two, three. seconds. The bell will mean halfway. Left, right, left. 15 seconds to go. We're only doing 30, sorry. So, next combo, we're going double left, double right. So, I'm gonna go jab, hook, uppercut, cross. Jab, hook, uppercut, cross. All right, so bring my target back into view. On the target, jab, hook, 
uppercut, cross. If I do the other side so you can see their angle, jab, hook, uppercut, cross. In between, side kicks with the right. Or at the end, I should say. Side kicks with the right leg. Ready? Let's hit it. Jab, hook, uppercut, cross. And breathe for a second, or 15 of them. And now we're doing the same but opposite. So now we're on this side, jab, hook, uppercut, cross. After this round, side kicks, 15 seconds with the right, 15 seconds with the left. Go. My form round. Kicks with left. And relax. Breathe for a minute. All right, last round of cardio on the targets with boxing skills in general. <laughs> Freedom of expression but you have five punches per combination. So I have to go one, two, three, four, five, and then I move. One, two, three, four, five, and then I move. One, two, three, four, five, and then I move, right? And you might just go one, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and that's fine. Left side forward for the first minute, right side for the second minute, and then at the end, roundhouse kicks with the right, Roundhouse kicks with the left, his pumping kicks. And ready, get set, fight! Let's go! One, two, three, four, five, and then move. And then move. And breathe for 15. And then we 
your putter right side forward. Same drill. Hands are up. Strong base. Right side forward for a minute. Go. All right, so abs on the ground. Let's go. All right, nice and easy. 30 second rounds today. First round, reverse crunches. Hands out of the hips. Keep the small of the back into the ground. Don't let it come off of, off of the ground when you're doing these. That's the reason for the hands here. Just feel the small of the back on the mat. Point the toes, knees to the chest. Only time the small of the back comes up is when the knees come up to my chest. 30 seconds. Knees to the chest, point the toes. in 10 seconds, come on. And quick little breather. Next round, hip raises. So lower abs again, only this time, I'm just simply shooting my hips straight up and then down slow, up and then down slow. Keep the legs bent, don't swing the legs, all right? It's all abs, up and then down, up and then down. 30 second round. Three, two, one. Let's work. If you keep your hands up, it makes it harder. When you're here, you can kind of use your upper body to push off the ground. Here, all abs. You have a hard time with this motion. Put your hands here, lift, and then go down slow. Lift, and then go down slow. And time. All right, next round. Obliques. So we're laying on our sides, crouching up to the side. Hit 30 seconds on one side. We'll flip right over, hit 30 seconds on the other side. Ready? That's work. Pick a side and squeeze. 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 Pause at the top. Pause. Blow the air out of your lungs. Make them work. And switch other side right into it. Keep it going. 
Only about 10 seconds left. And time. And then next one, getting into our um, overall abs a little bit. So now we're gonna sit up, one hand touches my opposite ankle, the other hand comes behind my back. And then I come back down, sit up and twist, and then down. And remember, twist as you're sitting up, as opposed to I sit up, and then I turn, right? I want my obliques to continue to work through this section, right? 30 seconds, huh? close enough, go. Squeeze, one hand in front, one hand behind. Reach with your hand as you're coming up. Reach with your hand as you're coming up. This is great for jujitsu, by the way. If any of you guys happen to be jujitsu practitioners, I know nobody online right this moment, maybe. However, I sent my other students into this later. Keep going, come on, almost there. And then last one, feet straight up in the air. Reach up and touch your toes. One of my favorites. Really gets my abs burning. Ready? Last dance, and then we stretch. Reach for the toes. seconds come on give me one or two more ah, and flip and stretch on your bellies oh, hips down stretch that abdominal wall out always feels good stretch 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 and then sit back in the heels Forward, lunge, reach for the sky. And switch, other side. Reach. And back down, press up higher. Curl the toes under, alternate heels into the mat. Heels to the ground, hips up, and sit back in the heels once more. And relax. Thank you so much for participating, team. This coming week, I'm gonna be switching over to Zoom. I'm gonna be figuring it out between today and the next couple of days. And so what I'll end up doing, at least initially, is I'll either post it on Facebook for the link or I'll send it out through email uh, to everybody through Constant Contact. So if you happen to be on this Facebook Live or you watch this and you wanna get in on the Zoom one because it's not gonna be public after this coming week, it's only gonna be to uh, people that are getting the link. Um, well, I guess it will be public, it'll still be on Facebook. But eventually it's gonna go to just our students, um, and so you wanna make sure that you're sending me your email if you wanna get on the email strand or the email side of the link because eventually that's where it'll all be set. And it'll be wrenchygrossback at Gmail is the one most of you guys already know that. So thank you so much. I appreciate everybody's participation. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.